Hello, and welcome to Magic the Gathering 101 with Erotic Yokel. Today's class will be centered on mid-range decks. A mid-range deck is a control aggro, not aggro control. This means that you start with smaller, less threatening creatures that have utility rather than trying to kill your opponent immediately. Then, after your mana is fixed due to those small creatures, you are able to begin to be aggressive. Your win condition is still reducing the opponent's life to zero, but you begin after setup and stifling of aggro decks. So, again, utility creatures or cards at one to two casting costs, efficient threats at three with additional benefits or options. Typically, planeswalkers at four to six mana. Board wipe cards, if available, at four to six mana. Card advantage, meaning graveyard recursion, repeated or multiple cards at the same time, draw, etc. Creatures with large effects at four to six mana, potential large effects at seven plus mana, particularly if you are black, green, splash. Interactivity, meaning targeted removal and synergy within your own cards. As noted, this is especially effective against aggro. This is a white mid-range deck. I have modified it, but it is not my own creation. What you have is a key card, but not absolutely required. It just enhances everything else for the most part. Uh, you have small utility creatures with multiple uses. That is what utility means. Uh, this is protection of your key card. You have other cards that benefit from that key card and serve as removal. This is something that can be a board wiper that also benefits us by allowing us to have multiple uses of our utility creatures. Planeswalkers. Wandering Emperor's Instant Speed. Planeswalker, board wipe. This can get rid of the temporary lockdown if that would be to your benefit. This can be played at three or at six, so is efficient throughout the game. This here can be played for uh, off color kickers with additional benefits. And here is another Planeswalker. Now, since this was a tournament deck, before I fiddled with it, there is a sideboard. I will eventually get to sideboarding. Not in this class. So, I've played a couple of games with this. It's effective. Let's see how the plan works. Utility creature, utility creature, utility creature. Between the three of those, I should get more mana. Now, this isn't ideal. I would prefer to have choices with other utility creatures, knowing now that I'm going against their go against Generous Visitor. Temporary Lockdown is the card that we absolutely want. Now, with that said, I do need another land. Now, we are going against an aggro deck. I'm not interested in attacking him, even though I know that he will 
not block me because he will be enhanced and attacking. I am willing to trade two for one in this case. If he has a trick, he has a trick. If not, I have slowed him down. This also will slow him down. This is how control aggro mid-range works. He has to expend resources to be able to get rid of this. I would like to play an Elish Norn with some form of protection, but this temporary lockdown here will be immensely useful against his many tokens. I'll be able to play this for graveyard recursion and interactivity, bringing back the Spirited Companion, being able to flip him to be able to play my cards out at instant speed, even if they are permanents. This is how mid-range decks, or control aggro decks, if you'd like to think of them as such, impact the game plan of an aggro deck such as this. We sit and wait. Now, this is a dangerous card, and I would love to have another seal from existence. All right, temporary lockdown will affect that as well. Therefore, blocking with a spirit companion is certainly useful, and considering the lockdown is coming, it's not invalid to do that. draw another card. We have Seal from Existence to deal with either the Hallowed Haunting or Calyx. I am running three temporary lockdowns. I can actually use that on the borrowed time here. And I am not quite able to do both uh, Elspeth and that. No. I'm going to get a card.
seal from existence this. and put out a temporary companion, stifling the aggressive deck. I do have farewell. My deck is getting thinned by the ambitious farmhands, making it less likely less likely that I will draw a land each turn. He is down to one land. Elish Norn makes that work in that manner. And audacity would make things a little difficult. But he doesn't have it. Just to give me a variety of options. So I misplayed there. All right. I misplayed there. I should have played out the uh, red source. I could have killed each of these commies of transients. But We'll probably be discarding land. No, he has seven. If I can get rid of a cave of Koilos and probably this forge here. Three cards. Okay. I suppose it's here to companion. I have to discard cards because I have so many. And on the other hand, he's just attacking over and over without a way around the wall I have created. I'm about to take over the game. He recognizes it. That is how a mid-range deck works. Now, I think, at least in my opinion, And I will not be demonstrating this deck as well, but 
In my opinion, Mana Ramp is a mid-range deck. You have early utility cards. This is both an early utility card and a late game uh, bomb, a payoff. You have removal, you have relevant threats that have an additional value at three. You have board wipe, you have card recovery or hand improvement, board wipe. This is both mana ramp and it can be a relevant creature. Then you have threats at five to six, and in some cases seven, because it is mana ramp. This is the same basic concept. To review, it's control first, then aggro. Utility creature cards or other cards at one to two casting cost. Efficient threats at three with additional benefits or options. Typically, but not always, planeswalkers at four to six mana. Board wipe cards at four to six mana, although sometimes three, as with what I just showed you having one just to deal with early. Uh, threats and uh, the temporary lockdown in the prior deck. Uh, card advantage, graveyard recursion, draw, etc. Creatures with large effects at four to six mana. Potentially large effects at seven plus. Particularly in black, green, splash. Interactivity, targeted removal and synergy and it is especially effective against aggro. This has been <laughs> Erotic Yokel. Have a good one.